Continental Industries Incorporated, headquartered in Tulsa, Oklahoma, was formed in 1958 and is today a leading manufacturer of steel and plastic connectors for the gas and water industries as well as exothermic welding products for the gas and water industries to make easier, faster, safer, and more economical connections. Whether you need steel or plastic, Continental has the product to meet your need. Test their endurance way beyond the stresses they'll ever be subject to in actual field conditions. For your gas and water connection needs, Continental Industries has the products and services to help you make the ultimate connection every time. For additional questions or comments, please call 1-800-558 1373 to locate a regional sales representative nearest you or visit our website at www.conend.com. In this section, we'll demonstrate the proper way to install Continental products. Combinator saddle by compression outlet. All of our products come packaged in a plastic bag with the instructions either enclosed or printed on the outside of the bag. If the instructions are printed on the outside of the bag, be sure to open the bag at the top, being careful not to tear the instructions. This bag contains the eliminator saddle, saddle bottom, and four mounting screws. The use of Continental's tapping tool is recommended to help make the process faster and easier. The area where the saddle is to be installed must be clean and free of cuts and scratches. After the mounting surface has been prepared, Place the top part of the saddle onto the pipe, then the bottom part, joining them together by hand. The saddle bottom contains a grit patch that helps keep the saddle from slipping. Insert the bolts. And then tighten them in a crisscross pattern, making sure the saddle does not rotate or slip around the pipe. Bolts should not be tightened above 120 inch-pounds of torque. Make sure the outer edges of the top and bottom flanges meet. It is not necessary for the inner edges of the upper and lower flanges to meet flush against each other. Before you install the pipe in the outlet, make sure it's the correct size. Make sure the pipe end is clean, free of grease and dirt. Make sure the pipe is cut square. After cutting the pipe end square, Measure and mark the proper stab length according to the instructions on the bag. Loosen the compression nut until the seal ring is no longer compressed. Insert the pipe until it bottoms in the outlet. Turn the compression nut hand tight, then use a wrench until it shoulders against the outlet and there is no gap. Do not over tighten. The line marked for the stab depth should be no more than three quarters of an inch from the face of the compression nut. Now remove the cap. Using Continental's tapping tool, insert the tool into the punch and screw down the punch until the stop on the tapping tool contacts the top of the T. The tap is now complete. To allow flow through the service, back the punch up until the top of the punch is flush with the top of the T. It is important that the top of the punch does not protrude past the top of the T. Replace the cap and the installation is complete. The high volume tapping T or HVT comes with the installation instruction inside the bag. The bag contains the printed installation instructions, saddle top with compression outlet, saddle bottom with six mounting holes, and the mounting bolt package containing six mounting bolts. The area where the saddle is to be installed must be clean and free of cuts and scratches. After the mounting surface has been prepared, place the top part of the saddle onto the pipe, then the bottom part, joining them together by hand. Remember that with this installation, mount the two center bolts first. Of those two, there's one short bolt which mounts right underneath the outlet. Mate the saddle bottom to the saddle top against the pipe, placing and tightening the two bolts in the center holes first. In a crisscrossing motion, tighten the remaining bolts, making sure the saddle doesn't slip or turn on the pipe. 
Once you make sure the pipe is the proper size, be sure it is cut evenly and has a square edge. Mark the stab length on the pipe according to the instructions. Remove the red cap and the stiffener from the outlet without removing the compression nut. Compression nut should be screwed in by hand until you see three or four threads in the back end. Place the stiffener into the pipe end until the knurl of the stiffener meets the pipe end. Then stab the pipe into the outlet up to but not past the mark. Tighten the compression nut by hand. Then use a pipe wrench to finish tightening. The installation is complete when the compression nut shoulders up tight against the outlet, leaving no space. Remove the cap and the O-ring. Using Continental's tapping tool and a socket wrench, screw the punch clockwise until the stop on the tapping tool contacts the top of the T. Tapping is complete. To allow flow to the service, screw counterclockwise until the top of the punch is flush with the top of the T. It is important that the punch does not protrude above the T. Inspect the O-ring for debris and clean if necessary. Replace the O-ring, then replace and tighten the cap. The installation is complete. Compression connectors come with the instructions printed on the bag. After making sure the pipe is cut square, make sure the ends are clean. Check the instructions for the proper stab depths and mark the pipes. Loosen the compression nuts until the seal rings are no longer compressed. Insert the pipe until it bottoms in the outlet. Turn the compression nut hand tight, then use a wrench until it shoulders against the outlet and there is no gap. Do not over tighten. The line marked for the stab depth should be no more than three quarters of an inch from the face of the compression nut. Repeat for the other end. Now the installation is complete.